Welcome, Welcome back to the back. channel. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Tonight, we're doing another late night eat, and we're going to Big Dog Brewing Company. Yeah, so come tag along as we go get some grub and booze. Yeah, let's go. Big Dog Brewery started in 1993 and they actually had a place right in the middle of the strip. They ended up moving to this location in 2003. Big Dog was formerly known as Holy Cow Brewing Company. The inside of Big Dog is a mixture of a pub meets bar atmosphere, um, a lot of open space, and you'll see towards the end of the video there's a huge back room for games, as well as like uh, skee ball and arcade games and stuff too. They're still sort of figuring out what the project's going to be in the back, but they have a lot of like memorabilia, especially around like Wisconsin, the Green Bay Packers, the Badgers, things like that. If you want to check out the menus, uh, feel free to scan this code right here and that will bring you to the food menu. And then here is the beer and what's on tap menu. The menus for the restaurant are pretty standard for a pub with soups, appetizers, burgers, um, and some other sort of specialty things. Everything seemed house-made though. But if you go, make sure to try one of their locally brewed beers because they are fantastic. All right, so the first thing we got was the Big Dog Hefeweizen. Mm. Very little hops to it. Uh, got a little bit of sweetness from like a fruit. Uh, it's really, really a solid Hefeweizen. Yeah, it's got a good, good beer taste. I like this. This is another recommendation for sure. I'm gonna try a sip of Gary's beer. Yeah, it's not hoppy at all. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. Um, honestly, it's very smooth. And they brew this in-house, so that's pretty cool. It's the Big Dog Heffenweizen, so I definitely recommend that if you guys are looking for a smooth beer that doesn't have a lot of hops to it. Really like that. All right, guys, so our first round of appetizers, we got the cheese curds with garlic and herbs added to it, and it looks like it comes with a like ranch dressing to dip them in. So I'm gonna give it the first try. Mm. It's um, it's more of like a very like Parmesan-y sauce, um, and this one I think is maybe the ranch. So I've got my cheese curd. I'll try the uh, garlic one first. Freshly fried cheese. The garlic is really, really good. If you like garlic, wow. And the ranch is like really uh, house made, really great. Oh man, these are good. You definitely should consider these if you come here. appetizer we got were the uh, barbecue, big dog barbecue wings. They smell good. They're really hot. So hopefully I don't burn myself. Wings are well fried. The barbecue has like this, uh, it's like a sweet barbecue. It's a very sweet barbecue. It goes well. It's well glazed on there. Um, these are really tasty. The barbecue is definitely more like a sort of southern sweet barbecue, just so you know. Um, but really, really good. And the ranch, of course, is house made, so it's fantastic. What do you think, Nancy? Finish what Gary started over here. Oh yeah, I have to totally agree. Well fried, 
Nice and crunchy on the outside. The sauce is made in-house. It is good. I highly recommend the beer barbecue sauce for sure. Next time, uh, if you guys are in the mood for some chicken wings, and it's a little bit of spice, a little bit of after kick after you uh, swallow it down. Yeah, they're good. So uh, we will see you guys uh, when our entrees come out uh, and uh, show you what we got for that. We didn't get it tonight, but just so you know, Big Dog is actually one of only a few places in Las Vegas that sells genuine poutine. So if you're interested in poutine, this is definitely a place to check out too. Check out all the medals they have, and it even goes past the shuffleboard sign, which you can't really see, but they have a ton of medals. Holy cow. This is crazy. I got the uh, old fashioned fish and chips. So they're supposed to be beer battered um, cod. So uh, dip it in some tata sauce here and give it my first bite. Wow. This is probably some of the best fish and chips I've had in Las Vegas. And I've had some pretty good fish and chips. I have to say, like, the, it tastes like freshly beer battered, um, not too salty. The fish tastes really fresh. Um, yeah, I have to say this is really good. I actually really, really like this. Um, real quick, I'm gonna try the uh, sweet potato fries. They're a little extra crispy, so... Uh, but they're still good. They're kind of like waffly. I like them. It's really good. I would definitely recommend this. Um, and I guess I will try the coleslaw too, because. Um, cheers. Coleslaw is not bad. It's more on the um, sweeter side, not so much the vinegar side, which is what, more of what I like with my coleslaw. So yeah, the coleslaw is actually pretty good. I have to say, and I almost didn't order it. So uh, let's see what Gary thought of his meal. So we'll take a shot of the burger first. The burger is nicely grilled. It has a nice seasoning to it too. A little bit of salt and pepper in there. Um, the cheese is really well melted and tasty. Really, uh, really solid burger. Um, yeah, it's definitely kind of a mix between a backyard and more like a diner burger, but it's really good. Uh, give a shot for the french fries. Now these are the garlic and herb fries. They have the same seasoning that the um, fried cheese curds had, but they are really good. Um, and definitely, everything here is pretty good. This is only like a $13 burger too, so it's not a bad price for the burger. So I would definitely recommend both. So once we get this done, uh, we'll see you outside and we'll touch base on what we ate unless we get dessert. So this is the back room area that's closed at night. Um, according to our, our server, there's a possibility they might do video games back here in the future, or they really kind of are undecided as to how they're gonna do it. You'll notice there's a lot of TVs though, so if you ever wanna catch a sporting event, especially during the day, there are a ton of TVs here to check out. the creme brulee cheesecake. Very creamy. Has a little kick of like caramel in it. That is super tasty. We decided to get it with the chocolate drizzle and you can get it with a caramel drizzle. I think it's a good idea to get it with the chocolate because there's a lot of caramel in there and it kind of makes that a sort of uh, really upfront flavor so the chocolate kind of get, cuts it a little bit. It is really, really good cheesecake. It is my turn to try the cheesecake and uh, I'm gonna dig in here. Yeah, that's a good cheesecake. It's very smooth. It's not too sweet. It's definitely a baked cheesecake, so it's not a no-baked cheesecake. Um, crispy like topping on the top and um, like Gary said the chocolate syrup really just kind of adds to it so um, yeah I would definitely recommend the cheesecake if you come here. 
So we will see you guys on the outside and let you know overall how everything went. Alrighty, that's... Right, so, so that was our experience at the yeah. Draft House is what it's called, but it's the Big Dog Draft House, yeah. I believe. Big Dog Brewery Draft House. Uh, so it's a brewery and a restaurant together. Yeah. That's why it's in the name, I guess. <laughs> it's open 24 hours. They do have gambling just like every other um, really place Las in Vegas Las Vegas. Place, yeah. um, they do have outside seating for like the daytime. Um, they do live music on the weekends. And again, they're open 24 hours and you don't have to sit at the bar. I thought that was really awesome. We got to sit at a table. Yes, under like our distill video, which we'll put up here. Uh, yeah. That was a bad experience with the waiter because they were so busy. Yeah. This place was constantly uh, people in there and stuff, yeah. probably like five to 10 people at a time. But the bartender was amazing. Name was Merrick. I yeah. definitely would recommend him on, he said he's here Friday, Friday Saturday, through Monday. Sunday. Yeah, Monday. So um, he's definitely worth it. The food was fantastic. Nacy said it's the best fish and chips she's had here. I, I liked it. I'm not a big fish yeah. and chips fan and I tried some. It was really good. Um, so even for those who may be on the fence about fish and chips, it was it was yeah. really tasty. The sweet potato fries were good. My fries, the garlic fries were awesome, well fried. The little garlic parmesan His piece. His burger was really good too. Like yeah. it was really well cooked. And I don't even really like burgers that are a little on the underdone side, like he liked them. And the beers, if you're not sure what you like, uh, a little word of warning, the pale ale has a lot of hops in it. So if you like a hoppy beer, the pale ale, the big dog pale ale, definitely recommend. It's yeah. not for me, I'm not a big hops guy, but he let me try like three or four beers. I found a Hefeweizen and then another one that it he brought. It was a wheat beer. And then he brought the wheat beer, which was like sniffing tails or something like that. We saw it when we were leaving, both it was awesome. Uh, and again, the pale ale is good too. It's just really hoppy and I'm not a hops fan. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, definitely will be back here for sure um, for apps and beer. Um, it's really not that far off the strip. I would say you're probably maybe a good 10, 15 minutes, but I think it's worth taking the drive out here. Uh, get an Uber, head on out here. And honestly, like the price point is right there um, for two appetizers, two entrees and a dessert and two beers. Um, we got everything for less than like $90, which was pretty fantastic if you ask me. And it definitely gets the legit stamp of approval. Uh, yeah. We would definitely love this place. Uh, definitely a must try. And if you come on some days, they have live music too. Yeah, yeah. Obviously not in the middle of the night, but if you come yeah. on the day. <laughs> um, but the music that they were playing in there was, was on point too. So I highly, highly, highly suggest, uh, I highly yeah. suggest this place. So uh, let us know what you guys thought of our, uh, if you've ever, eat here. Let us know in the comments below. Have you ever ate yeah. here? Or do you know a place around Las Vegas that's like this? We definitely would love to try it. So let yeah. us know in those comments below. And I do think they are dog friendly. Um, and they are dog friendly, yes. Yeah, so you can bring your pooch if you're a local um, and just come hang out on the porch and order some great food and have some good beer. So. And when you're looking at this video and you're thinking, wow, it's really weird someone's up. It is only 5.30 in the morning and yeah. someone's walking their dog. So crazy things happen in Las Vegas. Yeah. So make sure to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that when we do more videos like this, you will see them. Yeah, and we will see you guys in the next late night adventure. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Come get lost with us again. Bye. Bye.